What's up, y'all? It's Mr. Ernest Krim III, your favorite Black history teacher, coming right back at you with your Black history fact of the day. Look, I don't know you personally, but I know you're just like me. You're just like me in the sense that before you started looking at this video, you've been at your refrigerator. And you've been at your refrigerator probably 10 times already today, bare minimum, looking at it, staring at it, expecting something different to appear, although you know it's the same stuff in there, but you keep looking anyway. Especially being in this situation, we're going for food for comfort, and I get it. I've eaten a whole bunch of pancakes, cookies, chips, all that. I found some snacks in my pantry I didn't even know existed anymore. Here's what I'm here to tell you. The very reason that you have this food accessible to you, the only reason you have that option and go in your refrigerator is because of a black man named Frederick Jones in 1935, in the midst of the Great Depression, keep that in mind, Frederick Jones invented the refrigerated truck that could transport food for hundreds of thousands of miles so that you could have it fresh at your grocery store and in your house. But it wasn't always like this for Frederick Jones. Frederick Jones was born and raised in Ohio and he was abandoned by both of his parents. He was raised by a priest and he ran away at the age of 11. No parents, no guardian, nothing. He began to work very odd jobs around town. During this process, he realized he had a knack for mechanical engineering. He was very interested in it. Throughout this time, he would try his hand at inventing different things trial and error, trial and error to see what worked for him. Moving along to Minnesota, again, picked up some more odd jobs, janitors, working at a car shop. Something he did here was very pivotal. During this time, he began to not only work on cars and work in other fields, but he began to use his spare time, his free time to read on this material, to read up on it and self-educate himself. See, Frederick Jones did not have a formal education. You would assume that this man who invented something so great probably had a PhD or a master's or at least a bachelor's or a trade degree certification. Nah, he didn't have anything like that, y'all. He self-taught himself. This is a person who had a very humble beginnings, discarded by his parents, ran away, odd jobs, saw something he was interested in and kept pushing and kept going forward and began to read extensively on the top. So look y'all, the next time you get up for that snack again and you go to that same refrigerator and you go looking and staring for 10, 20 minutes at the same stuff, I need you to thank a black man named Frederick Jones for the fact that you even have fresh, accessible food in your house. Before I go, you already know what I'm gonna say. What action will you take to make history today? And I'm out, y'all. Peace.